Maker. So thank you so much for coming to my second channel, Mischief Managed. Today we're going to be watching an interesting um, video that somebody sent in. It's called Living as an Adult Baby. Obviously she's an adult and obviously I guess she's... I've heard of these kind of people with maybe, I don't know if it's a mental illness or just a fetish or just something you're interestingly into, but she's she's stuck in this in this uh, reality where she thinks she's a baby and she likes to be treated and act like a baby. She knows she's an adult. She knows she can. She's capable of doing other stuff and whatever. Is. But on, I guess on her free time or whatever she can, she acts not her age. It's kind of like my strange addiction, but not really. Um, it's more of a documentary because I hear she's really famous on YouTube. Um, I've never really seen any of her videos. Then again, they haven't really popped up on my recommended, so this is my first time seeing her. But without further ado, let's get started. Eh, okay. Extreme love. 21 year old Jess and her boyfriend David have what many would describe as an unusual relationship. Jess enjoys regressing to infancy. She calls it little space. I like wearing diapers because it's an instant progressor. It's also very comforting. I don't know, like it feels nice to sit with them. When I see Jess wearing diapers, I kind of feel indifferent. I, I would understand that. I Probably us too. Only pee in them. <laughs> I do not do the other thing in them. I don't know, like that's just too far for me. Okay, so she has her limits. These aren't really his thing so much as they are mine. But he's he he willing to learn not changing me out of a dirty one, but like initially putting me in a clean one. So we'll see. My favorite thing about being just a daddy is caring for her. Age play is not sexually stimulating to me in any way, shape, or form. It is to other people, but it's not for me. It makes me happy that she's happy. At least you clarified that. For me, there is nothing sexual about my age play or anything like that. For a lot of people, it is a fetish or a kink. And it's in the sexual BDSM community. So as far as this goes and other things goes, there's different ways of calling people daddy. Jesse's real life childhood was troubled. I was abused when I was a toddler. I guess okay. I think that the age play and everything is stemmed from whatever happened in my childhood to get that innocence back that I didn't have to kind of relive it the way that I wanted to in a more innocent and pure way. On the other end, I think that I would probably still be into it even if I wasn't abused. Well, it still makes Jeff sense in the first part. To being a baby, sometimes preferring to be a toddler. <laughs> Sorry. Can I come out now? Her voice though sounds like a kid. Like an actual impersonation of a kid. Her voice that's actually pretty impressive. As a little girl, I like to do a lot of different things. I like to drink out of sippy cups. I like to dance and wear cute dresses and like tutus and color in my coloring book. Now we can put it on the refrigerator. Oh. Some of it's no. to a certain extent, I guess. Okay. Listen to cute music, watch kids' movies like Care Bears and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Play around in makeup that I shouldn't be playing around in. Oh, yeah. I am currently actually looking for a real life babysitter to come over a couple days a week and actually like, go through a bedtime routine with me. How much are you going to pay them? A post age play videos to have 25,000 YouTube followers. I think mm -hmm. all kinds of people watch my videos for different intentions or purposes. I think I'm kind of trying to reach the spectrum here, make it more normalized and make people less judgmental. Help me kind of find myself and my inner confidence and it adds a lot to my life. I do get quite a mixture of hostile and also inappropriate comments. Oh, they call me a pedophile. They make fun of her. There's always Apparently, those people out there. Her. I'm tired. I'm more tired. It brings us closer in a way that most relationships do not. I personally feel like age 
playing makes us stronger as a couple just because it adds an extra element to bond over and it kind of I mean, changes during an interview she looks really nice see more understanding within the relationship well i guess she has an excuse to call her boyfriend daddy uh, look, I think it's a little strange. I don't like to judge people. I mean, if you're not trying to convert me to, you know, do some stuff, you know, then that's all I care about. If you are doing it in your own home and your own time and you're not really affecting people, 100%, you know, affecting people, then I'd say just do what you want as long as you're not trying to get people into it against their will. If he's okay with it, then I good for him and stuff. I can get why there's haters and stuff because there's a lot of people who would obviously find this strange, but it doesn't mean you go hate on them and stuff. If you don't like it, then just like, don't watch the videos, just move on and stuff. Same with haters anywhere dealing with anything. Though it does give me a curiosity, what happens when she has her own children? Will she have to, like, assuming they want kids, what happens if they do want kids someday? Is she gonna step up and be the mother, or is she gonna be a kid with them, or... I'm actually really curious about that. Now when she said she was, she was abused, I watch documentaries of a ver various kinds, um, and I try to analyze it on my own of where this particular um, tick or mentality or stuff like that stemmed from. Even though I haven't done much research into it, it's just like a 4 or 15 minute video. It's very clear that perhaps that's where the main um, issue stemmed from. It's very strange, but if she's into it, I don't judge. I wouldn't be into it, and I'd feel a little um, awkward if my friends were into it and wanted me to act a certain way for their um, mentality kind of play, I guess you want to call it. But if they're really your friends and they're understanding, they should know, okay, I'm not going to pressure you in anything and stuff, so it's like, you can still be friends with a person who has something similar or something like this. I don't know, this was strange, but, you know, it, there's a bunch of interesting people out there, and, you know, if they're happy, then good for them. Thank you guys so much for um, sending in this request and watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am losing a lot of light and I don't know if it looks weird on the camera. I'll probably find it out later. Find out later. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video and also on my main channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!